Mel just went and did something absolutely bonkers. Hello, everybody. It's Pun Frugal Streamer. I want to tell you what Mel just did. Uh, they just low-key dropped one of the biggest mic drops I've ever seen on another company. It was kind of funny, actually, because it was a, it was apropos uh, when they were talking about multi-streaming and then uh, Restream decided they were going to pop in and the CEO of the company said, hey, we were the first, which Mel said, yes, you were. But guess what we're getting ready to do? We're getting ready to re release cloud multi-streaming for free. And that's exactly what they did. Mel just come out with Meld Multi. It is a cloud-based website very similar and akin to how Restream IO works, where you send one encode to their uh, service, and then they will redistribute it to your various platforms that you want to stream. And it is really easy, and it's free. All right, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the website, which is multi.meldstudio.com. Co. I will provide a link in the description. There you can then set up your stream URL and stream key to your broadcast app. Now, this works inside of Meld Studio. Obviously, it'll work inside of Streamlabs. It'll work inside of OBS. It'll work inside of XSplit. It'll work inside of Emix. Whatever your broadcast app is, you can set up a stream to it. So just simply copy and paste the stream URL, which for me, I've chosen the Virginia server that they have set up. It's an RTMP uh, URL and your stream key. Now, this is the key to this. They do have a clipboard option where you can copy the stream URL and copy the stream key on the website, but I have not seen where that works. But control C and control V off of the website and into your broadcast app does work. So that's what I recommend you do. It's that simple. You make a you make an output uh, connection of that. You name it multi meld or whatever you want to call it, and then once you get there, then you can click on the uh, get started and sign in to an account. You can use your Google connection if you want to. That's what I did personally, and there you will then get access to where you can set up your different platforms. Okay. Your different platforms, you have an options of custom RTMP, Twitch, Trovo, YouTube, Kick, Facebook, Nemo TV, and Rumble. So that's an awesome thing. And then you can just go to your platform, set up a stream, copy your stream key over. You do not need the stream URL that they typically provide, just the key. Copy, paste it in. Again, Control C, Control V works and do it that way. I have three connections right now. I have YouTube, two connections to YouTube, one horizontal, one vertical, and then my Twitch account. Okay. And I've tested them all. They all work. You can uh, have them set to auto start. That way when you uh, go live on your broadcast app, it will automatically connect, or you can turn that off. And then this little play button, you can select that once you're ready and then it will start streaming by clicking that and what it will actually turn into a little square for stop so that when you're ready to stop you can click that but that's a good way to know that it is connected when you see the play go to stop and then it'll give you a preview of your stream that's actually pretty decent the latency is very minimal uh, so you can actually see the preview right here on the meld website which is nice it's that simple, very easy, very connected. Now, here are some takeaways that I have learned in this quick amount of time that I have set this up. You are limited in bit rate to the platform that accepts the least amount. So for me, with YouTube, I can send up to 50,000 kilobits per second max. But Twitch will not accept that. Twitch will only accept a maximum of 8,000 kilobits per second. So you have to consider that. Okay, if I want to stream to YouTube, I'm only going to be, be able to send 8,000 and my stream probably will not look that great, okay, compared to being able to send, you know, 15, 16, up to 50,000. So that's what you need to think about. Okay, am I going to be doing something where I need more bit rate? If you're playing a first person shooter, you might want to consider. Uh, not streaming to Twitch, okay? If you're doing a talking head thing like this or a church service, for instance, you'll be perfectly fine, okay? That's just something that you need to weigh your options with when you're considering your connections and what you're going to be doing. But it's really simple to set up, super easy, and it's free. 
Uh, the copy paste uh, thing I just told you about, that's another thing that I noticed, but keep that in mind. You know, when you're doing that, just control C, control V works great. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So good job, Meld. Very happy to see this. This is a game changer for churches, especially because you have custom RTMP, where you can now send that to, a, say, a CMS like Subsplash, where you can then have your website, Facebook, YouTube, and all that stuff. Or if you're, you know, using a CMS because of the multi-streaming that it offers, well, now you have a free option. Other thing, too, with churches, a lot of churches use Restream. Restream to get the platforms most people would want to stream to, including Facebook. Well, guess what? You have to pay for it. Well, you now have a free option to send Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, custom RTMP. It doesn't cost you a thing. So go out there and give it a shot. If you are uh, interested in looking at it, I'll provide a link again down in the description below. You can set up your own account, test it for yourself, and see how it works for you. All right, everybody. Thank you. Have a great day. Make sure you like, subscribe for more information like this. Hit the bell for notification. You'll know when I have a video that goes live. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. Have a great day. We'll see you later.